Wallflower Wednesday is something new that I'm trying. Y'all know I normally buy wallflowers all the time. Um, and I do use them in my diffuser. So this is just something that I'm starting to do with this Wallflower Wednesday. It's an easy way to test out a scent to see if you like it. If you love it, then go with the three wick. So this is something new I'm trying out, y'all. So hopefully you'll watch it and love it. I did the wallflower hack on this. Um, I'll leave the video at the top if you want to learn how to, to do the hack and just pour some of the liquid or the fragrance oil inside of my Aldi diffuser. I've been having this diffuser for a while now. Um, I did a video on this diffuser probably like a year or two ago. I got it from Aldi on clearance for like $2.00. Aldi, they they always have these diffusers and they normally go for like fifteen dollars. Um, I also have a higher higher end um, diffuser as well, the one that I got from Nordstrom. This is the one I got from Nordstrom on one of their anniversary sales. Um, I don't really use this one that often. Um, it changed colors. It does the same thing that the cheaper one does, the $2 one or the Aldi one does. There's no difference. Only difference is, is this changed to like, I think like five different colors. That's the only difference. Let's talk about chasing fireflies. Yes, y'all, as you do see, it's with the Floral Plus Uplifting Scent Profile. Love it so far, y'all. The scent notes is pear jasmine wood. So yes, to me, this is very soft, like a soft floral. It's sweet, but not fruity sweet. Um, I think that jasmine and that pear blends really, really good together. I really, really like this one. Really like it. A lot of people is comparing it to fairy tale. Now y'all know how I feel about about fairy tale. If you've been with me for a while, you know I absolutely love fairy tale. The scent notes in fairy tale is pomegranate, orange blossom, vanilla bean, and amber. So yeah, I love 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 this. So in comparing the two. Fairy tale and chasing fireflies. I feel like in fairy tales, you really get that pomegranate as well as that orange blossom, making this one more fruity. And when it comes to chasing fireflies, I feel like it's really a nice blend of the pear as well as with that jasmine. I don't get any wood in this scent at all. To me, it's more floral heavy but a soft a very very soft fruity and i guess that's where that sweetness is coming from why these two scents smell so similar is because of the orange blossoms and the jasmine blooms because of those scents are so close for as the fragrance that's the reason why these two smell so much alike as far as the chasing fireflies that pear note is so subtle to me. I think this is more of a jasmine type of scent. I don't get wood. I just get that sweetness from the jasmine blooms. That's what I get. And I guess the pear just kind of balance it out. When you compare the two, yes, they're in the same family. I do believe that they're in the same family. It's just... I feel like fairy tale is way it's a little bit stronger and it's a little bit more fruity in my opinion um whereas like i said the chasing fireflies is more of a powdery floral a soft floral i also pulled out this body care this fine fragrance in jasmine because i really wanted to see I really wanted to get a good sense of what Jasmine was. And yes, this is the fine fragrance mist and it does come with other things. But it's kind of sort of the same. White Jasmine, Apple Blossom, and Cedarwood. And I kind of feel like it might be the same Jasmine in Chasing Fireflies that they put in here. This whole same blend because it kind of smelled just as sweet as the chasing um 
fireflies. It kind of smells like that same jasmine to me. But both of these scents is amazing. I really recommend both of them. I really like both of them. So they're not a dupe for each other. This is a brand new scent. It just smells so similar to Fairy Tale. Um, just because of those notes, those two notes, the orange blossom and the jasmine, you know, um, but they're different. They're different. This is very much a floral. And to me, this is very much a fruity. So, yeah, but like I said earlier, if you missed out on fairy tale or if you just used up all of your products and you really like this scent and you know they haven't brought it back yet for as the home fragrance. So I will highly recommend you get Chasing Fireflies. Amazing. Now, I'm going to stock up because I love it. I Y'all know I truly, truly love fairy tale so i played myself when it came to the fairy tale candle i think i only have like one and a half so this time hopefully chasing fireflies hopefully that candle throws well it doesn't have to be a powerhouse even though i would love for it to be a powerhouse i will love it if if it's at a medium you know i'll be happy with that so yeah, I highly recommend it. Leave down in the comments, what do you think about this Chasing Fireflies? Have you got your hand on it? Um, do you think it smells similar to Fairy Tale? Which one do you like more? Do you like Fairy Tale more? Or do you like Chasing Fireflies more? Or they both just about the same? Leave that down in the comments, y'all. I am so excited for this collection. I cannot wait for a nice sale. So I could grab some more of the pieces in this collection because so far I am really, really enjoying it. Really enjoying it. So yeah, leave all that down in the comments. Shout out to all of my MVP riders. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for always supporting me. And no matter what I post, you support me. You got me. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Click the thumbs up. Um, follow me on all of my social media platforms. Use or follow my hashtag Kimball Lit Wicks or Kimball Lit Wick. All that stuff really do help. And I will see y'all in the next one. All right. Peace.